Cisco SecureX integration with Endpoint AMP. All right, so SecureX um, is a platform that's gonna allow for automation, orchestration, it's gonna centralize visibility, and we're gonna add in the N AMP for Endpoint uh, module. It's pretty easy, you know, it's just a couple uh, copy and paste keys. It gives a good instruction here. The nice thing about it is, is once you do this within SecureX or in, in, in fact, Cisco Threat Response, um, uh, you only have to add the module to either platform. It's automatically added to the other. So here we'll give it a name, new API key. We're going to do read write. We'll enable command line and allow API access to the file repository, download audit logs. You'll grab your API client ID and your API key and you'll paste that in to SecureX. We'll save it out. Um, again, I'm just um, giving you some visual there around that act as user. So that's it, right? It's integrated. That's all you have to do. You know, less than a minute, you have integration. Now what you might want to do is create a dashboard um, and add your available tiles um, that uh, obviously that you are interested in. In my case, I'm just going to grab them all um, and save this out. And you can see that we're already seeing data come in. So we can adjust these tiles, right, very quickly, uh, move them around. Obviously, you've seen other videos uh, with SecureX. Uh, this is obviously something uh, I've already showcased in earlier videos. But um, the point is, is that uh, you know, yeah, you have some flexibility to move this around. I can get rid of the applications and integration uh, tabs. I can get rid of the news tabs um, and get more real estate on this web page as well. I can change the date here. And I can pivot, right? I can very quickly pivot into, um, you know, Endpoint AMP. I can do it from the launch button. I can do it from the ribbon. I can do it from the data that's being fed into the platform or within SecureX. And so I can see here compromises, right, by host or by threat. Um, I, I could also pivot into them more specifically, right? This isn't gonna be an overview of Endpoint AMP, but I'm just showing you the integration. The, the whole goal with SecureX is ultimately centralize that visibility. But here, what I might wanna do is that specific host, there was a threat, I am in SecureX, I see the, you know, the compromised computer come up um, in that console providing that visibility. Now there's orchestration and automation, that'll be later videos. But then I pivot into Endpoint AMP, I might have reviewed the thread a little bit, right? Um, and then isolated the host. So right there, what I did was, it's isolating, it's actually reaching out to that host and isolating it. And so isolate, host isolation is gonna limit um, the host's ability to communicate on the network. So if it's compromised, we're gonna stop maybe data exfiltration as an example. And so you can, you can say still, leverage DNS, right? And maybe some other IP addresses that you want the, the host to be able to communicate with. Um, but you can see here, if I try to go to a website, um, you're gonna start seeing that the page can't be found, found right? Because um, it's being blocked, it's isolated. Now I've got a comment about Windows 8. I did this because that was the image I had. <clears throat> I will update the lab to have Windows 10. Um, shortly but anyways uh, you can see here I'm doing a ping and it's a general failure right now if I do maybe an NS lookup I, I will get resolution right because in my case DNS is still allowed to communicate and obviously you can communicate with the console the uh, endpoint amp portal console the nice thing about that <clears throat> excuse me, is is that if I, I need to do work, if I want to take a forensic snapshot, I still have access to the system itself, right? So I can come in, um, maybe mark the, the host as resolved, um, and um, I could, um, from there, either uh, release the host isolation, meaning stop it, so now the host can you know work as, as normal, um, 
but uh, it gives you a little bit of a workflow, right? That you can come in here and do that. And so I've got a bunch of noise in here around demo data and stuff like that. So in my case, uh, you know, I'm just going to quickly, I could have searched, but I don't remember the computer name off the top of my head. Um, but very quickly, I'm just going to go and find that computer and stop the isolation. And it is right here. Stop isolation. You might want to put a comment in, you know, remediated the issue, uh, maybe add a case number, etc. Now, if I go back, let, just to show you how quick this is, right? So this is cloud. In my case, it's uh, I'm not doing private AMP. It's um, in the cloud. So let's see how long it takes to actually um, isolation to stop, right? So I just clicked it. It takes a minute. It's got to reach out, and that's it. I'm now communicating. If I go back and see if I can get to Google here, bingo, right? So SecureX, again, allows that automation, orchestration, but also visibility and allows you to pivot into multiple different uh, technologies that you may own.